April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And during this month, we are taking the opportunity to dispel four myths of sexual violence. The fourth myth that we would like to address with you is the myth that victims of sexual assault will always appear bruised or battered or hysterical. When the fact is that often a victim of sexual assault will not have visible injury. And as we explore this, um, there's, there's two sub-myths at work within this myth. And you know, the first is that we make this assumption that a sexual assault will always be a very violent act. And it, it is sometimes, but often, a sexual assault may happen with coercion, intimidation. Um, it's, it's often that an offender will use a tactic other than violence. And so someone is coerced or intimidated or threatened. Sometimes alcohol is used as a way to incapacitate someone. So there's a variety of tactics that an offender uses that leave them less likely to be caught, less likely to face consequences for their offense. And it's important that we understand that the myth because if we're assuming that a sexual assault always happens this way, then we're less prepared when someone has a different story to tell us, less likely to believe them. Um, the other sub-myth that happens with this is we assume that a victim will always present one way. So in the wake of an assault, we assume that there will be hysterics and crying. And that may be one typical way of presenting after a sexual assault, but there are many other typical ways as well. It's very common that in the wake of a sexual assault, a victim will have very little affect or show very little emotion. Um, there's a very wide range of what we would consider a normal presentation. And it's so wide that it's hard to even use the word normal. And if we understand that, then we will be able to walk alongside someone so much more effectively. We won't make the assumption that because they're not presenting a certain way, that they're not telling the truth. And so if we dispel this myth, we will be more likely to believe all victims and then respond well to them. So we are asking all of you to speak up and to help us dispel the myths of sexual violence, and to end sexual violence.